Zur can be found on IO at the Giant Scar. Sorry this video is going out a little bit uh, later than I expected, because you know, Thanksgiving was yesterday, and uh, food comas, th those are a thing. Also, I just completely kind of forgot what, what day it was. My schedule has been interrupted by not having the podcast on Thursdays. Weapon, merciless, amazing. You should probably pick this up. You don't really even need me to tell you what it does. It's just one of the best guns out there. Conserve momentum. Non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until its wielder gets a kill. So fusion it has a very, very uh, low charge rate. or it, it takes a long time for each round to charge, each burst fusion rifle bolt thing to charge. But if you hit something with it, so non-lethal hits, so hit but not kill, the next one, the next burst, will charge quicker and quicker and quicker, assuming you don't kill something. So if you just unload into a boss, it's going, it's, you know, you're going to ramp up speed. If you have things like a Titan Barricade or Hunter Reload Dodge uh, or Luna Faction Boots, I believe it works with those as well, you are going to just ramp up so quickly and you're going to keep this maximum rate of fire for until you just spend all of your ammo which will happen very quickly because you are the shots go down to basically instantaneous i can't recommend this weapon enough just for boss damage it's one of the highest single target dps weapons out there the other perk out uh here impetus uh reloading immediately after a kill increases weapon damage for a short time this is just reactive reload where you get a kill, you reload, and then, hey, you have a damage bump. It's actually pretty nice, too, because after you get a kill, after ramping up with, say, conserved momentum, you reload your magazine, and then, oh, now, while I'm still trying to, you know, charge up uh, to those really fast shots, I'm still going to be doing even more damage. So while I may take longer to charge, I'll still be hitting harder. So you're never going to really lose that much damage. This is one of the best, absolute best weapons around that you can get for, for your power weapon slot in PvE. Pick it up. Now, changing gears, we have the Lucky Pants. While they are extremely stylish with uh, bullets and uh, you know, whatever whatever that thing is over there. Uh, and, oh yeah, I forgot you can actually see the... Uh, <laughs> it's got little spurs on it. Uh, it has the perk Illegally Modded Holster. Increases hand cannon ready speed and initial accuracy. <sighs> yep. Uh... You know, in PvE, you want something more from your exotic. You want some sort of damage increase, some sort of great utility. S having ready speed and initial accuracy increase, that doesn't really do it for me. It it might work in PvP. Uh, hand cannons on PC are really strong, so maybe if you're having to swap to your hand cannon because you swapped away from it for some reason, then it could be good, but the, the only real strength of this is when you swap to it and then for about two seconds you have that initial accuracy bump that's not a that's not a lot of time that's, that's really not a lot of time to make use for this and i just i'm not a fan of these i'm not a fan of these so i wouldn't pick it up pick them up unless they you know, pick them up and maybe they'll buff them in the future Mask of the Quiet One, Dreaded Visage, grants melee grenade and class ability energy when damage void ability kills grant health regeneration. Uh, this is one of those buggy exotics out there because void ability kills grant health regeneration. It's like grenade hits will grant it, melee kills will also grant it. Um, so it's not all ability kills. Also, like when you smash someone with your void or with your sentinel super, that doesn't count as an ability kill, but using the shield throw does. A little weird. But the grant melee grenade and class ability energy when damaged is uh, actually very, very potent. In PvE, you can take a lot of damage there. You can purposely take damage to help out your cooldowns. And if you do this, you can maybe focus more on weapon reload mods instead of having to go for ability mods. Uh, spoiler alert, I'd still go for ability mods because stacking this with those is really, really good. Um, while, so this is kind of weird where it it has a perk that has a cooldown on it. So if you are continually taking damage, it's, it's not going to really benefit you as much as just a little bit of damage. You're going to end up taking too much damage if you're just continually tanking damage in PvE or something. Uh, but for those little ticks of damage that you take, you will be regening class ability stuff. Starfire Protocol provides an additional fusion grenade charge, and fusion grenade kills grant rift energy. Uh, this is one of the chess pieces that you can use if you are interested in doing and having a... Uh, a 
was it? Empowering Rift Up for every single plate on Callus because your fusion grenade can kill one of the dogs. And then yeah, that will give you your Rift energy back. So you pop your Rift on the first uh, plate, uh, throw a throw a grenade at a dog, and then boop, you got your... Uh, you have your grenade up for the next one. It's Or you have your <laughs> rift up for the next one. Fantastic, fantastic chess piece uh, if you like getting your rift back up. And also, it does provide an extra fusion grenade. While those aren't the one-hit wonders that they were in Destiny 1, they are still very potent in PvP. Not as strong as pulse grenades or some of the zoning grenades, but you get a little bit of damage on someone, and this is basically a guaranteed kill as long as it hits them. Uh... Yeah, solid chess piece around, still not as good as some of the other options out there, in my opinion. I like a lot of the, the helms that mess with your cooldown, or your ability, grenade, melee cooldowns over those. So yeah, that's there for you. Uh, I am going to maybe return to sleep, because uh, Thanksgiving, it's a wonderful holiday, it really is great. Alright, thank you everyone for, for tuning in, see you next time. Oh yeah, I can, I can wave.